Yo, Kepe Scotty here. Hey, so guess what we're doing? We are starting to build the home theater. And I think I want to do it in this room. I'm not sure. I'm currently priming the walls to change the color. I'm either going to do this room we're in right now or do the other room, but doesn't matter. I plan to paint both rooms regardless. And so here's what we got going on right now. So I have the whole place taped off. I have a bed sheet that I'm not using on the floor. I have some paper along the walls, the borders of the room, the outskirts. And you guys can see I'm starting to prime the wall right now. The whole house is currently this baby blue. It's like a light gray with a blue hue to it. I'm taking that out of the home theater room and I'm gonna make it a really nice dark gray. And I'm probably gonna paint the ceiling too. But the first step is just to prime the walls and get them ready for the new color. So what I have done is went out and bought about a 40 or $50 sprayer from Amazon. And this allows me to make this a lot faster, spray, reach up into higher, hard to reach places. And I'm gonna get this room done first. Get it all primed, takes about an hour to dry. So we'll do one coat, go to another room and do something else, come back and do this one and so on. And we'll bounce back and forth until all these walls are finished with primer. So that's what we're doing first. And I'm thinking, like I said, I wanna go a darker gray. I wanna make the home theater a darker room because I actually have the ability to have a dedicated room this time. So I wanna make it light controlled. I wanna be able to um, open the blinds if I want to or completely make it dark. I want to have a contrast between my speakers and they're white, so I want a darker wall. And I will have a rug in here to help me with these terrible acoustics as well because it is all hardwood floor in this house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get finished with this wall and continue to make my rounds until we're all done. So it's a new day and we've got a lot done. Well, I got a lot done last night. I went to bed at like five o'clock in the morning because I decided that I wanted to grind and get these coats of primer on the wall because I'm off today from work and gives me all the time I need to move everything into my home. We really wanna focus on this room here. This is going to most likely be my home theater room. And so I have an idea of how I want it to be. You guys can see I have a rug here. This is actually in my bedroom, but with the theme that I think I'm going for, this will match just perfectly and it'll help me lower down some of this echo that we have in this room. So this will be the screen wall right here and it's wide enough to also have my speakers flanking it. So that's what we're gonna do is use this side of the room as a screen. I have all this length for my seating, for the other speakers, whatever I want. Now, I really like the idea of having a dark room, really dark color, so I'm gonna run over to Lowe's and see what we can find. I do have some different paint cards I'm gonna put on the wall to see what color I think I like with the lights on, with the window open, just to see different shades at different times of the day and see what I think about it. But I'm thinking a dark, dark gray or something very similar, and I'm probably gonna paint the ceiling too. So let's head to Lowe's and see what we can cook up. All right guys, walls have been primed. We just got back from Lowe's. It's a different day. I have some paint here and the color that I chose for the home theater room is called Magpie from I think Sherwin Williams. Uh, Magpie here, it looks black on your screen, but it's not. It's a really deep gray, no blue hue to it, but I want a really dark room um, because this is a home theater room. It's a dedicated home theater, so I want it to be dark. I want no distractions when I'm watching the, the movie. I don't want reflections, so I got a semi, like a, an eggshell color, so not really glossy. It's gonna look really, really good. I'm probably going to paint the ceiling as well, and I do have my sprayer still that I'm going to load up with some paint. Now, I may still do a roller. I'm gonna try using the spray paint and see how I feel about it on one side of the wall. And if I like it, I'll do the rest. Or if I don't, I'll just go and roll it. But I'm gonna fill up the spray bottle here and start spraying the walls with my paint. See what we think. So now we have one full coat 
and I sprayed pretty much all of the room. Spraying is the way to go. It is so much faster than rolling and it looks a lot better and it's very even. I love this thing, really cheap. I'll link it down below. While this dries, what I'm gonna do next is pre-plan. Get the seats in here, see where I want them. Get the speakers in here, kind of map them out. Put the screen on the wall for a second, see what I like. And once that's dry, of course, and then when I do kind of have a plan, I'll take it back down, do my second coat, and then I'll know where everything's going to be. So it's really late right now. I'm gonna go to bed and do all that tomorrow. I'm very tired. It's like, I don't know, two or three in the morning. I'm not even sure anymore, but I'll let this coat dry. In the morning, we'll get one more can of paint because one whole can did this whole room. We'll do a second coat and we should be ready to move everything in. So after hours and hours of spraying, repainting the trim, pulling off all the tape, painting the ceiling back to being white from the overspray, we finally have a fully coated home theater room. And I chose to keep the ceiling white right now because my speakers are white, so it's a nice kind of mixture. And then I left the floorboards as the original color as well. And then I did paint the outlets, the covers of them, and left, of course, the outlets themselves white, just because it's gonna be a pretty much a, a gray, black, white, light gray kind of theme in the home theater. So I'm very excited. Now, like I said, this old rug here was in my bedroom in the previous house, happens to match the decor now. So I'm gonna leave it in here, plus it'll help with some acoustic treatment. But what we're gonna do now is kind of map out what I think I want to do. You guys can see I do have a home theater chair sitting in here. Pretty sure that this wall is going to be where the screens are. Yes, these are the doors into the room and to the closet. I have painted them, they are drying. But that's probably where the screen's going to go. Right there, chairs here. They're gonna be, I have two right now, I'll move them up. And in the future, I may add three more to the back on some risers, so have seating for five. I think the room will be perfect for that. So we have a lot going for us. Inside this closet, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Inside this closet here will be where I store my equipment. So if you guys are familiar with my last setup, this is where I keep all of my AV equipment. My Anthem was up here. I had a couple of amplifiers, a couple of Blu-ray players, so on and so forth. So it's gonna be housed in this closet with a fan and that is the door that goes over it. So we'll close it, lift the trim right, just to add some more accent to it. So that's where I'm gonna hide all of my equipment. As you guys can see, there is a plug right there that can go right to the equipment. And then my cables will be really nicely managed with some um, wire hiders with some racetracks all the way across. We'll be either painted black, or this is actually gray. It may look black to you guys, but this is actually a deep gray. Uh, it may be painted that way to go all the way across, or I might leave it white and go all the way down the, the board, whatever. I'm not really willing to put wires in the wall in this house. It's my first home. I don't want to do anything like that. I will enjoy it for a while, but I won't live here forever. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to get some waste tracks, and they will meet my speakers where I'm going to put them. Again, this is a 7.3.4 Dolby Atmos system, so there will be seven bed layer speakers and four Atmos speakers, which I'm super excited for because I'm gonna be able to put them in the ceiling. Now, the last thing I wanna do is something with this light. I'm not really gonna use a light much in the home theater room. I may change that out for some recessed lighting or a different kind of light fixture, but I definitely wanna change the temperature of the light. It's not very bright, and I'm not a big fan of that warm color hue. As you guys can see, my light is a lot whiter than that, and it really brightens up the room when I want to have a light. So, a lot to plan, a lot to do. Let's get started with kind of mapping things out. Okay, so we're really on to something now. My seat there, the drawers, the drawers, the doors first coat is finally dry, so I need to respray them, but I've gone ahead and mounted my acoustic treatment where my first reflection point will be. My speakers will be in the corner, and then that will be that first reflection point. Again, there's the rug starting to tie in nicely with the aesthetic. You guys can see what I'm going for. I did go ahead and get all of my equipment in here, there's my AVM70 at the top, as well as my wireless transmitter for my Atmos speakers, Blu-ray player, my Atmos speaker amplifier, my sub amplifier. Of course, there is that fan down there. You might be able, not be able to see the power conditioner and then the Monolith 7 that's gonna power all of my seven bed layer speakers. So, you know, I'm kinda at a little crossroads here. I'm not sure what to do with this. I have um, some big Kef bookshelf speakers. These are the R3s. And this is the only walkway into the front of the room. So for me, it's fine. I am not very tall nor very wide, so I get through there just fine. And I'm not gonna have a lot of people over, but I do wanna consider when I do, people have the ability to walk through without knocking over 
the speakers. So I have a dilemma. I can leave them there and just deal with it, boom, whatever, or I can put them back here on this back wall, which you would say, yeah, that's great. Why wouldn't you just go ahead and do that? Well, here's what I have in place. So in here, I'll grab one. This is one of the two Kef speakers that I'm using for surround sounds, and these are wall mountable. I only have a pair, I don't have four, and maybe I should look into getting four, but I could put these on the wall there so they're out of the way. You may be thinking, what are you gonna do right here? Well, I'll probably just mount it right here to the, the frame here, maybe, or maybe I'll just move it just a little bit back and match it over there. But I have that option. I can easily flush mount it to the wall and nobody will touch it whatsoever. Or I could do that back here. So I'm not sure what to do. Let me move that speaker here so you guys can see what it looks like. So here is an example of one speaker sitting here. It's fine, it's kind of low in comparison, but when people sit down, they're gonna lounge back. So their head will be about tweeter level. So coming into the room, Coming in this way, that's what it looks like. I mean, it's fine, it's out of the way, it's whatever, you'll have the second one here. And then when you come into the room, you'll have one recessed away on that wall and then one here, or I can put it above the light and put that other one on the opposite side. I'm not really sure exactly what I wanna do. I'm thinking that I wanna put the big Kess speakers in the back and then mount these against the wall like they're meant to be. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I probably will go with that idea. But I wanna hear you know, another opinion. Let me know down below what you guys think. Oh man, it is really coming together. Screen is up. Check out these doors. I have to get different door handles now because they don't match. They're silver and that doesn't look good at all. So I'll have to go get some black door handles and I'll put one black on one side and I'll put the other silver one back on the other. But the doors being painted have really just like transformed. It like really ties it in. I love my choice of leaving the white trim around the, the floors and around the doors. Still kind of considering painting the, the roof black. I think, or gray I should say, I think that might really like bring it all in. I may have to do that. But here's the screen, got the acoustic treatment up, the seats where they're gonna be. I'm super excited. I don't know if you guys can tell, but just putting up those two panels, having some furniture in here, having some carpet on the floors has really changed the slap echo that's in here. It doesn't sound so bad. And here's this door here with the equipment. We'll figure that out, make sure there's plenty of ventilation coming through, and then we'll be able to plug all of our units up. So I am super excited, but unfortunately guys, I'm going to end it there. I am not going to show any more of the home theater until we hit 30K. When I hit 30K subscribers, we will do a home theater reveal. Until then, this is all you're going to see. I'm going to continue to work on it, get my screen set up. I'm going to figure out if I'm going to keep the stand, mount my projector, put my speakers in, measurement, subs, room EQ wizard, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do all that stuff while you guys get to 30k subscribers. If you guys want to see the build, hit that subscribe button, get the channel to 30k, and I'll do a full home theater reveal. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already. We will see you in the next video. K-Pace guy out. Peace.